Hi guys, Asmo here and today I want to talk about Sky Hunter, the unique bow which a lot of people have been asking if it's worth using it in this build as a marksman rogue, should you be playing this uh, bow or not, uh, or is it better to use a bow or crossbow in general, so today I'm gonna address all of that in the background, you're seeing a level 81 nightmare dungeon which I run with the Sky Hunter bow so you can see how the bow, bow performs and let's talk first about the item itself. So uh, when it comes to the modifiers that are on this item, uh, the first thing we have is the implicit which is damage to distant enemies. This does not always apply because I would say roughly about half of the time we are hitting enemies that are in our melee range, such as when we're hitting a boss with our rapid fire or when we're hitting a pack of monsters that we have to jump into because they have the suppressor bubble. A lot of the time you are hitting the monsters from uh, close by, but some of the time you're hitting them from afar. So this applies roughly like 50% of the time so I would say this is like 30% uh, damage increase. Then we have the dexterity which is very good. Dexterity gives us just straight up damage, just straight up attack power and then it also gives us the um, gives us the dodge right which dodge is a very very nice uh, defensive mechanic I really value dodge highly on this character so I like the dexterity roll really really good. The marksman skill damage also really good we're using marksman skills exclusively to deal damage uh, other than the poison so this is amazing then we get critical strike damage of course we're scaling crit and this has a critical strike uh, like a guaranteed critical strike for the first hit that we're hitting an enemy so that's also obviously synergizing well with the uh, bow itself and then we have a plus three rank to the exploit passive and exploit is the one that uh, gives you increased damage to healthy and injured enemies so that's basically just increased damage so those modifiers are really really good they're pretty much like top tier that you're gonna find on the weapon there can be something that is better than this but this is just in general overall pretty good um, then we have the modifier that is the aspect of it uh, which is the first direct damage you deal to an enemy is a guaranteed critical strike and then if you've had maximum st uh, stacks of the precision key passive and when you cast the skill which would give you a guaranteed crit then you gain energy instead and this can happen only once per cast so uh, this is actually the most overrated modifier on this item uh, so a lot of the time you're gonna be hitting with your puncture first and this says the first direct damage you deal to an enemy it doesn't say with this weapon so that can be a puncture it's gonna be a guaranteed crit but then the hit that you're gonna be doing with the sky hunter is not gonna be a guaranteed crit so that's number one number two a lot of the enemies you're gonna hit, you're gonna like hit them with the um, trick shot uh, projectile and you're gonna crit them but it's not gonna be the full hit and then the next hit that you want to do is not going to be guaranteed crit so that doesn't apply to that then you have to also take into account that this replaces aspect that you would be otherwise using and in my case that would be the um, marksman skills have up to 10 percent chance to create an arrow storm so the arrow storm aspect i like using this on weapon over the trick shot i like using the trick shot on the amulet because this gives me more single target damage um, but both ways are good either way you're either losing the uh, two-handed uh, slot which is the most valuable slot uh, for the aspect for the arrow storm or you're losing it for the trick shot so that is a big drawback so this this better be good if you want to be using it but unfortunately it's not that good uh, when you're hitting bosses as well you want to puncture them first to apply vulnerable and to stack your combo points so with this playstyle with this build it is not that good and also the base itself the bow um, is not that powerful because it is a uh, faster attack speed which we don't really care about because our attack speed uh, for our basic skill for our generator that gives us combo points comes from the one-handed weapons so we want to be using things like uh, things like daggers right that are very very fast that have 1.2 attacks per second and uh, that doesn't matter like what weapon you're using for that um, and then when we're shooting it's basically just going to be one attack it's going to be penetrating shot or it's going to be a rapid fire and attack speed does not scale them that much you do notice the difference those character your character Character will feel more fluid and a little bit quicker the animations are a little bit shorter so it does 
play nice in that sense but you do notice the uh, like the lower damage right because instead of like just one big shotgun now you now if you have slightly less damage if you're not reaching the breakpoint of one shotting monsters now you have to shoot a second time and shooting that second time is going to be slower than if your first hit was like slightly slower but you actually killed everything so that's another negative uh, i'm going to compare it now to the crossbow that i have which has slightly lower dps right so this has lower dps but i actually feel like i'm doing more damage with this and uh when i compared it i ran a couple of dungeons with the sky hunter and a couple of the um with the crossbow and i ran them at the same level with similar modifiers there wasn't anything like special that was like nuking my damage for some reason on these uh, nightmare dungeons and the crossbow definitely felt better to play with this playstyle. the number one thing is the uh damage uh like the damage bracket is 2000 to 3000 damage per hit even though it's a slower weapon it's a bigger hit so that's really good for this combo playstyle where you just want to shoot one giant penetrating shot and obliterate as many monsters as possible with one hit um same with like bossing right you want to do the combo points and then just like one rapid fire kills the boss or two rapid fires kills the boss um so that's number one number two we've got the massive massive implicit vulnerable damage vulnerable damage is a very good modifier that this is missing and I've got vulnerable damage on the implicit here. And then you can also get vulnerable damage, of course, as one of the modifiers below that. Uh, we also have core skill damage and dexterity, which is good. Uh, the damage to distant enemies. And then I have basic skill damage, which doesn't really help me at all. So I even have fewer uh, like useful modifiers on uh, the explicit modifiers here, which are the uh, like below the one that is coming always with the weapon. Um, and it still feels better. And the imprinted uh, marksman skills have 10% chance to create arrow storms, of course, is uh, for me better than the guaranteed crit. It just feels much better. It would feel like this is such a good weapon for penetrating shot because you feel like, okay, I'm just gonna shoot one penetrating shot, right? You wanna have this like playstyle of like a shotgun and you shoot once. So this one hit being guaranteed crit should be really, really good. But in practice, it doesn't, doesn't really work like that. You're gonna hit a pack, you're not gonna kill it, and then you're gonna have to cast a few more times in order to finish it off especially if you're running more difficult content and that one extra crit doesn't really do that much for you um, and also you have to pretty much respect your build for this and you have to change your gear because i'm already running a decent amount of crit i have crit on my gloves crit on my rings and that uh, together with the passive it gives me uh, roughly 30 percent base crit chance and then i get extra crit chance like nine percent from imbuement i get extra 20 percent crit chance for my penetrating shot just from uh, the special specialization in the passive skill tree so i have more than 50 percent critical strike chance for penetrating shot already uh, and that's why this is this difference is not that noticeable and uh, you don't really want to run without crit either because then after the first shot if you're hitting like a boss or something your damage is just gonna go way down so it, you also don't want to run like no crit build and then just rely on the crit from the sky hunter so in my opinion sky hunter is not worth using unless it is significantly better than other weapon that you've been using before like if the dps is significantly higher higher i would use it and uh, it's it's gonna be fine I, i'll be able to do content with this weapon if i wanted to but i would definitely prefer the crossbow even if it's like 200 dps below it it does feel better to run with the crossbow and i even I put the critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies um, in the uh, sockets here instead of the life on kill and i still felt like i'm doing less damage so my conclusion is it's not really uh, worth using over a really good crossbow for this build specifically uh, for some other builds it might be good but in general i think the um pa the the passive like the aspect of it the guaranteed crit is probably the most overrated part of it if your build works very well with bows in general um if you're playing uh, some uh, like basic skill that uses bows and then a core skill that like let's say barrage or something that cares about attack speed then sky hunter probably would be a little bit better uh, but overall i think like it's a pretty overrated unique and i would much rather use a crossbow so that's it thank you so much for watching and see you next time